everybody, Caitlin here from the Bob and Weave. Today is December 5th and it is Vlogmas Day number 5. Today I will be working on some reusable fabric gift bags. I have this Christmas fabric that I've had since I first started making bags and I just wanted to use it up finally. So I thought this would be the perfect project found this pattern on Pinterest so it is not my own pattern I didn't make it up but I will post that link where I found it in the description box below so now I'm just going to cut out the main fabrics which I have this gingerbread people gingerbread houses which I think is my favorite and some little walruses that are all bundled up Super cute. And then this black and white and gold Christmas tree pattern. And these are all my lining fabrics. So I'm just going to cut those out real quick. So what I'm going to be using these reusable bags for are Christmas gifts. I thought it would be a cute idea to give somebody a gift in them and then they can reuse it however they want to. And it'd be kind of like part of their gift. I'm also going to let my son pick out one so he can keep all of his favorite Christmas books in one place. I've gotten all of my main fabric pieces cut out I'm going to cut out the lining fabric off camera just because it's the same process as cutting the main fabric so now that I have everything cut out I am going to use my heat press to get all of the wrinkles out of the fabric and I'm also going to use this again which is the best starch that I've found it's Mary Ellen's best press and I find it at Joann's or you can order it on Amazon. fabric cut out and ironed. I also have cut out some Peltex. I think this is 70 is what it's called. Um, the pattern calls for fusible Peltex but I'm just using what I have on hand and this is all I had. So I'm going to use some basting spray just to stick the main fabric down to it and then I'm going to 
based around each side with the sewing machine just so it, that it hopefully doesn't go anywhere whenever I'm sewing it. fabric piece based it onto the Peltex. I'm just going to take it to my sewing machine and sew around all four sides.
I have all of the main fabric pieces basted to the Peltex pieces now, so I'm just going to put right sides together and sew around three sides, and then I will box the corners. I thought cutting the corner pieces off would help the um, seams lay flat whenever I was trying to box the corners, but it really didn't make a difference.
And now it's time to put the handles on. I have some cotton webbing that I believe is one and a half inches wide. And I'm just using that for the handles. All of the exterior pieces are finished and now it is time to work on the lining. And you just do it the same way that you did the main pieces by sewing three of the sides together, just leaving an opening at the bottom for turning the bag out. <laughs> and making sure to box all of the corners like you did on the exterior fabric.
of the lining pieces sewn now and I'm just going to put the lining pieces together with the main exterior pieces. So I'm just sewing the tops of the lining and the exterior pieces together and then I will turn the bag out through the hole we left in the lining. And once the bag is turned out the right way, I will top stitch around the top edge and then sew up the lining. <laughs> time to finish this one bag today so make sure you subscribe and come back tomorrow to see how the other bags turned out I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe got some ideas for Christmas gifts so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe